For a typical infantry battalion, the mortar is its primary indirect fire weapon. A battalion will normally have six mortars, which is usually 81mm. These are normally carried in the back of a truck and are dismounted for ground use. That takes time. What we have here is the South African Talus Scorpion mortar system. This is a 4x4 truck on the rear of which is mounted a turntable. On that is mounted, in this case, an 81mm mortar. This is coupled to a computerised fire control system which enables the mortar to be laid onto the target from the operator seated into the cab. Where does the target information come? That can be come from a uh, mortar fire controller who could be dismounted or it could be carried from this device up here. This is a, a binocular type device which has got day sights, night sights and a laser range finder so he can detect the target, get the information, feed it to the ballistic computer and that allows the mortar to be laid onto the target. This particular vehicle carries about 20 rounds of mortar ammunition. As I said, this is the 81mm which is a standard NATO mortar, cal mortar calibre. It could also have the Russian mortar which is um, slightly smaller or even a 60mm mortar. And the flexibility of the weapon system is such that if you wanted to, you could take that mortar off and even put a pod of 107 meter surface to surface rockets. Development of this is complete. They had one prototype, they have three pre production vehicles, and they hope to get an order for it in the not dis distant future. So, the main advantage of Scorpion over conventional mortars is it, it's quickly deploy, can come into action, it can redeploy before counter battery fire, and it's more mobile. So, really, it's a highly survivable mortar platform.